Hey, hey, this your boy FBG Butter, man. I'm here on Real Tunes TV, man. Y'all know I be wildin' out like Big Cloud, man. Wild out, wild out. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all tune in, watch the whole interview, man. This juicy and spicy. I did my thing. Hey, Real Tune, it's the real money in the room. All right, man. So on today's episode of Real Tune TV, we got a Chicago legend in the building, a living Chicago legend in the building. One thing about me, you know, I'm going to give you your flowers while you're still here. Appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. FBG Butter in the building, man. Uh, Butter, what's that word? Man, you know, living life, chilling, making people mad, the usual. You feel me? Right, right. Yeah, you, you seem to be pretty good at that. I mean, I think that's one of my specialties. You feel me? I think it's, it's something I'm very good at. I, I like to get under people's skin, especially when they come for me, because I, I spell you. You know what I'm saying? I got this two-period two mark I be doing with people. Like, the first time, I be like, all right. The second time, I'm going to, uh. And then, I'm just going to, uh, unload this on you. And we be, and I'll be trying well, since the last time we've sat down, a lot has happened in the news. In an interview that I saw with FYBJ Main, he claimed to have ran into his cousin, Lil Reese, uh, while he was with you, and I believe he was pushing peace at the time. He said that he prevented anything from happening. I want to hear your take on what happened and why it happened. At the time, we wasn't pushing peace. Like, that wasn't, because we weren't even in tour with his cousin, though. We was in tour with the niggas who his cousin was affiliating they self with. You know how that, you know how that go. You know? So when we caught them in the store, it was like, yeah, we could bake y'all because y'all be with dude and them. But then, you know, J. May, phone them like, nah, hell nah, y'all. So that's his real cousin, like, like it's, that's not made up, even though he's not claiming him. Like, you've seen it for yourself. For sure that's his cousin, like, the Calumet building, the low wind, all that shit is so small, bro. Everybody, like, everybody was everybody back in the days. You see what I'm saying? So, for every op, they daddy or they mama got a baby by a brother or a sister that's right now we all into it, if that makes sense. Because everybody was fucking everybody back then. Everybody was having kids with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's not hard to believe in Chicago. Right. Do, do you ever regret that, like, letting the make it? No. Nah, like, it is what it is. You know, I just feel like that situation could have put us in an even more up situation because we was finna shoot up a stove with a whole bunch of people in that b And who was to say, like, we would have got away with that Who's to say shit, we would have got away scotch free, everybody go home? We run all would have got wrapped up. Now we all wrapped up, then what? Motherfucker don't think, but that shows, like, a lot, a lot of the times, a lot of us don't think past go with a lot of shit that go on, you know, in real life. But I'm glad we did have a motherfucker that, that was thinking. Not only was it his cousin, but he was more so thinking like, yeah, I ain't trying to go to jail, you know. So it is what it is. Plus, in a way, like, that ain't do nothing but help all of us get more, more richer see more success, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like one of these either. Ain't nothing like getting the, ain't nothing like getting that envelope, getting an envelope like this. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like getting no envelope like that. Nah, <laughs> nah, seriously though, like, nah though, but uh, today, the t today part, like, Today price better than back then price because we would have took the price of killing him when he ain't been out, on um, bro. So I take it like it is what it is, and I kind of thank God that we didn't do that because right now I've been 
really, I've been on to some, tapping into my alter ego with a lot of Yesterday in the news, Batman Kevo's 15-year-old son was killed. He was gunned down in Michigan. But uh, you've been around when people have been killed at even younger ages. How did you feel when you got the news about Batman Kevo's son? It was up. It was fucked up, no bullshit, because I know Batman Kevo personally. You know, so... That that that, that kind of it, it it hit a little different because I got a little boy too that's around the same age. I was like, "Whoa, for now, shit get crazy. This shit get sticky though, gang." And then we don't a lot of people we don't even be understanding the involvement of our kids into these streets, bro. And I'll be I was reading the comments on that. Shit. A lot of people like, "Oh man." His son was in the trenches, his son was his son was this, his son was that. Like, y'all don't know what bunny he put behind he's putting behind his son and they mama. And the son could have probably just been a little f up. No. Because I was a little f up coming up on Tuga, like on some real shit. Very purpose child, if you ask me. On um, bro, my OG work all day. She get paid twice a week. Well, I mean, she get paid every two weeks. She getting there at, what, 3800 a week, every two weeks. I'm getting any shoe, anything I want. All she want me to do is go to school and stay out the streets. I went to school because stay out the streets. Right. Well, when I look at Bandman Kevo, it's like he has that sack, you know, and you yourself, you're like a... rising influencer like you can't just be called a rapper anymore because you know you're bigger than a rapper you actual influencer you get paid to do interviews people listen to you talk people pay you to talk happy on the influencer side now do you ever feel like you need to get out of the hood for your own sake like you need to leave chicago yeah yeah all the time like i don't even I don't even party in the city, you know, because my city's so full of hate and jealousy. Like, but it's a lot of it's a lot of good shit going on in the city too. But it's just like who I am, my situation. You know what I'm saying? My situation, not everybody's situation. Because like I've been partying with a different type of crowd lately, right? And they be they be able to go everywhere and they be into everything and my still go home safe at the end of the night so can't make it seem like oh uh, uh, the city just ain't safe the city just ain't safe for the game bangers because if there's one game banger that's two or three you know and not all all establishments even one us in a i just got kicked out of pool hall i ain't gonna say the name of it but i i just got kicked out of pool hall well i got bail i got barred from it and when y'all hear, when you hear me say that, it's like you right off back, you'll think like, Damn, what the fuck you going that people establishing me doing, you know? But it wasn't even it was that wasn't even the case. The case was of who who a motherfucker is, and like man, I don't even want that type of attention at my establishment. Even though y'all cool right now, ain't no telling what's gonna go on. So you, and as an adult, I had to understand that, you know. But <coughs> man. Yeah, yeah, I definitely be, I definitely be want, want it for myself, and I be wanting it for other people too. Like when I seen my homie, them certain of my guys move out of town to like Vegas, Arizona, and like that. I was happy for them when they was in, the, when they moved to Atlanta. For them, was getting up out the city. I'm okay, cause that made me think in my head like, oh, bro, did I, I could do it too. Um, at Glizzy. Oh, hey, Goofy. Uh, well, Ant has had a lot to say about Chicago over the last year. Um, he recently came out and apologized about a lot of the things that he said um, regarding Duck. Um, my question to you is, do you accept his apology? He apologized to Young. 
But you know what I'm saying? Uh, apology is an apology. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I just felt like when I came for Aglizio, you know, bro, I, I literally came for his throat because why you saying f up? What power would you to even come from our hood? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then he, oh man, I was just chasing the content. To, you know what I'm saying? Ch but that's goofy. Sh like, who want to put themselves in the hole in the middle of a whole war that don't concern them? When they start doing that, because laws and politics, if he was a part of any mob, like he's just so gang, he's so gang gang and so much of a gangster and all this. Sh on Tuka, real mob, real thugs, that shit right there is against the body. You know what I'm saying? When you upsurge yourself into another war, especially a war that don't, that, that, that don't uh, got nothing to do with us, you put all us at stake now. Now you putting the body, the multitude at, at jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? And real gangsters, real thugs, no, like, man, that ain't got shit to do with me. I ain't, I ain't even to put my homie them or I ain't even had no out of town playing with my homie, my dead homie them name. But see, we ain't really stooped down to his love with this GQ and because he was locked in with a few of his homies. I said that what probably like ten interviews ago when he asked me about him. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna diss the Glizzies because I fuck with a couple of them, right? On oh, some real shit, and they saying the same. I was saying, dude, that's not, he don't be out there with them. He can't go over there with them. He just keeping up. So, what I, my, the whole thing I was getting at was just like, man, you know what I'm saying? Back then, we would beat the body and made the man strong off that stupid. That's like you stepping outside the guidelines. I said it, he, he jeopardized the multitude. He bringing unnecessary attention to the block. Do you think him apologizing because you know he he went in on essentially everybody, even Mama Duck, and if his apology was like sincere, like I understand your take, you know what I'm saying. But do you think Chicago as a whole would embrace him to where it's like it's not on site when Mama see him because he apologized? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, my take. What I know from handling with the, from handling the handlers and hanging with the handlers on my brother, like, they don't like that shit. And then, uh, they ain't with that shit. Um, bro, like, for real, for real. And, and J Man, J Man, even like, you gotta admit, my boy doing a good job at this pushing peace shit because. J Main really he ain't know nothing uh, really about Aunt Glizzy when they was doing their interview, right? You know what I'm saying? They had to stop the interview and Glizzy had to tell J Main some, some of the disrespect to say, which is insane, right? Cause bro ain't do his homework on on a bro really didn't get two about him. Feel me? But them houses that was there with us, so they felt some type of way. Oh um, bro, and they felt some type of way about cause J Main then drop low. He he was awesome. He's pushing peace, and that's what Mark said to understand. Sure, he was pushing peace, but that was a few things Anthony had. He had to answer for, bro, because it's like I want some real. Yeah, you could talk that though. You could be a gangster, but like when the mother come to press you, really beat your ass and not kill you though, right? What fuck come and put put the put the paws on you? And beat you like a like beat you like a dirty dog on fourth grade, right? right. And you ducked that. Shit. He ducked that shit on two grade because I asked him. I say, "What's up? You out? In, you, you in Dallas? I'm in Dallas. My man, let's link up. Let's fight." And he didn't want no smoke. He, oh, I'm not linking up with you. I'm not fighting you. The police and da 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 da. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm woofing on, on the internet constantly and we in the same state and you wanna fight, I already think you the police, so I ain't gonna threaten to say I'm gonna kill you, right? But you 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 say you wanna fight? Oh come on. Where you wanna where you wanna meet at? 
I would have told if if I was him and he was me, I would have told this. Since I think you the police, just meet me at the police station. I'm finna beat your little. <laughs> Not for real. Like a lot of niggas be doing that. A lot of niggas be doing this rah rah. It's good. It's I mean, it's one thing the wolf on the internet, right? It's one thing the wolf on the internet, but. Oh, my mama, you ain't just see I just knocked dude out? I just knocked the out of the show on J. Main birthday. Kind of fucked my homie birthday up, but it's the real life, the internet, right? All my stories, yeah, and most of the stories to the guys, people tell about me, they be, yeah, butter kick. So what, what second, what are your brain cells make you think when I see you? That I'm not gonna kick your if you trolling me in public. Bro, I got some big, big thumb thighs and calf muscles, bro. All my strength ain't up here like the most of you. My shit down here. I'm, I'm coming for this knockout anytime. I don't be, but now I'm trolling. I definitely, that definitely would have been a nice fight, though. Because he like 6'2. A little bit, a nice little fight. You mentioned. Fighting somebody or knocking a dude out at a show on J Main's birthday. What actually happened with that situation? I mean, like I really I really want getting I really want to give him no no more no more attention because this is what he chasing. You feel me? And he ain't got a lot of that right now. But look, nah, let me stop trolling. <laughs> nah, seriously though. Oh was great. But now nah, though, like he was fucking with me, gang. I asked him to go. I asked him to leave me alone. You feel me? He's trolling. And you can't troll no person like me, gang. I'm always aggressive as hell in my interviews and shit. Oh, bro, I come off aggressive as hell. This is not no, I'm not, this ain't no internet me. No, this is me. You feel me, gang? Oh, bro. And so when you meet me, it's like we got to play nice, folks. You feel me? Cause if you ain't if you ain't playing nice, I don't, I don't mind I don't mind tweaking. I love this shorty. I love to prove it. I will beat your ass. I love to show this like I right, even if I don't beat your ass, we got it on. It was a good one, right? Um, bro, wanna do it again? Type shit. But now nah, though, old school's tweaking. You know when motherfuckers be drinking them beers and mixing that that beer with that with that with that with that Raspasado or that Hanejo, that beer be having tweaking game. You feel me? He was just, that's, that's unk, that's unk, you feel me? You gotta really, I had to really pay attention to who I punched, right? And after I whooped him, and then he did his little interview and shit, um, bro, I was really thinking like, that's unk. That's unk who got him in uh, fuck go to his crib, bring all the stuff down. We in unk all night, to the morning. All we gotta do is keep, 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 keep the beers coming for him. On me, no bullshit. No, nah, like, and I said it. Though. I'm like, man, this you reeking a big game. You wanna? F why you wanna troll me? And you, and you know you drunk. You feel me? I'm a little young whippersnapper. True, indeed. I'm a young whippersnapper. You wanna play? You gotta be up on your p's and q's when you playing with a nigga like me, cause I'm a fool. But then, see, he actually be hit though, because did y'all hear what he said in the video? Oh man, this for entertain. He said this, this for entertain purpose only. Okay, I got some entertainment for your side. And then I ain't gonna lie, it's like once I got mad, I was already, I was just, I was done, cause I was off the jiggers and I'm busting off this. Shit. You come fucking up my night, on oh, bro. Like, motherfuckers gotta understand, like, not all the time, right? Your favorite YouTube or your favorite motherfucking celebrity is in the mood to be whooping with you. You feel me? He, yeah, butter bucks. He, man, that shit say copy money. Or, bro, bro. That's why I don't even carry money no more. I don't fuck great. But I gotta go pay this lawyer tomorrow, though. Oh, gee. But his little ass is tweaking. He trolling the bankroll. He trying to go viral. 
See, he thought he was going to go viral just treating me like, yeah, oh, man, he bought a... Well, then y'all got to read what he said. His caption was when he reposted the video. He is, since when we started letting rats come to Indiana? Oh, you want to play, right? And that's why I knocked your ass out and God, he kicked you off the game. Shout out FYB Crazy. FYB Crazy snatches because I... He do say I didn't knock him out, right? Granted, I ain't, I ain't KO him. I ain't put him to sleep. But I put him on his ass. I dropped him one punch. He said, oh, man, he hit my shoulder and knocked my phone out of my hand. No, I didn't, gang. I hit you in your fucking mouth. Oh, bro. Because I had a fat ass teeth dash on my hand after I did it. You capping. Oh, my homie. Drop him. Boom. Shout out to the girl V. The girl V from Say Cheese on my dead homie. Hey, look, you following the girl V? Real tunes? Oh, my homie. Ask the girl V, bro. No kizzy. No kizzy. No funny shit, though. Ask the girl V. When I hit him, I rock him one punch. Um, I, I'm, you want to go viral on Scrap? I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to Scrap. You, you, you want to go viral, right? Ah, poop. He should have knew I was gonna hit him when I linked when I linked towards him. I tilted towards him and asked him again, you wanna go viral? I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my mama. Ah, poop, drop him. He fall right on V. He fall right on V. He he gangster, that's what you on. V trying to get him off her. Oh bro, V trying to get his big ass up off her. Crazy Chris come grab him. He get your ass up. Who man's is this J Man? Like, y'all over whooping, folk. This this one of the guys for he want he wanted the guy. And that crazy got him like this. We we kicking his ass off the stage. Goofy man gotta go. Oh um, bro, Gotti kick him in his. Ass. Shout out to Jay Gotti man. Shout out to shout out to little sus. On um, B real sad. In fourth grade, she she get your goof. Where my shoe at? Like in my shoe, Shoy. I got I I want I want to demonstrate how she kicked him in his. She put, she put the shoe to his Jordan. No gizzy. I can't make this shit up, gang. Oh, my homie. This shit was so fucking funny. Look. Shoot that ass. Hey, I, shoot that ass. Oh, bro. Shoot, shoot that ass. He go off the stage. Oh, my dear brother. He. He. And I'm thinking he's going to fall off the stage head first. No kizzy. He catch himself, bounce over the gate, run out, he running towards the door. He, he, oh yeah, it's on now. It's on now. I was on. Now I think I ain't gonna lie. You know Indiana, shorty. You ain't got no felonies or nothing, shorty. They, that's like Texas. Stay your ground, woo. They all you need is an ID showing that you a citizen out here. You going to, you going that bitch to go get you a gun. So in my head, I'm oh he going to the car to go get pipe. Um he just got whooped. He gonna go get a pipe. I spent, I wanna get my pipe. Oh, folks, Ray, you ain't gonna shoot at me and I ain't shooting back. It's crazy as It's crazy. It's insane. But now, nah, though, ain't nothing happened by the grace of God. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? We all went home safe and sound. 100. You know, I mean, motherfuckers like went home with a little bruises. Pride crushed a little bit because, one, you keep saying I'm the police, so you got beat up by a rat. Right? So that's crazy as that's just that's just, that's a crazy process to even deal with. I feel bad too, gang. If I feel like a rat, he what this, he that, and he just beat my. Ass, I don't took that's just like that's like little Jay coming home and beating my ass. Boy, my pride to be shattered, gang, because I just got whooped back. It ain't even that I got whooped by little Jay. It'd be an egotistic thing like. I just got whooped by. I done forgot who he was. I done forgot his little Jay. I forgot they called him the King of Chirac. Only thing going through my head is I got whooped by by a dude who like he man, she man's, trans man. I don't know, man. He like he like boys. Nah, let me stop, man. I told little Jay we gonna be friends when he come home. Um, bro, I miss bro. That was my best friend, G. I gotta stop trolling him like that. Now nah, though, they y'all know they say Vine got a baby by one of uh, Lil J. Old. They they say one of Vine. I can't make this.
up. They say the LeBron who exposed Lil J back in 2011 is Von Baby Mama and I. I'm like, what? I couldn't believe it, right? And then my sent me the picture. I'm all oh, that is her. I'm B Gray. Oh my dear homie, that's her. Y'all, show this. Holla last for Killer War. I ain't gonna put, I ain't gonna do too much. I ain't gonna do too much though. Cause I'm folks great. I ain't gonna do too much. Cause they like, oh buddy, you too big to be saying people names and you be doing too much. Cause Mona Lisa jumped in my DM last night and her feelings on Tuga. Then you gonna merchant on her baby daddy. She never said nothing about me and Kyra. On Sunday, I, I, I'm so petty. And she know I'm so petty on my brother, folks, that I really, I went back. Got the, I went and got, I went and got her truth teller interview. And when she said this, she said, I said, yeah. He, I, she, you a truth teller. How, how you feel about Kyra? He, she, what she say? Man, you know, half of that shit about they saying one about her one truth, da, 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 da. Boy, and then she used to be playing with my baby daddy, Kyra and Butter. No, I beat they, yeah, I, I beat they, yeah. Now, nah, come on, Mona. I love you, sis. But you beat my ass is crazy. It's crazy as shit. You think I'm gonna let you whoop me, girl? It's crazy. Come on, man. I done fought my bitch and beat one of my bitches up before. How you think she gonna look at me if I let you beat me up? I don't folks grave. I might not never get that pussy again. <laughs> it's crazy. Be or we gonna be realistic. Beat me up is insane, sus. I love you too. Just say you miss me, oh bro. I miss you too. But beat me up is crazy. She all in my DM. She yo, why I gotta be a? Bitch? You kicked it off. You said something about me. Y'all know I'm retarded. She told me you ain't never seen me get cracked. She told me some expose the fun boy. I ain't, I ain't even gonna talk about the fun boy. The fun boy wasn't even part of the conversation. It's just I know the fun boy fact you down, and you can't even say you can't say Brody didn't. Oh, folks, gray. You was you was one of his experiments before he went over to the dark side. <laughs> oh, folks, gray. All right, I quit. I quit, bro. You you go, you go to the next question gang. I quit. Get this. She knows she got fact down. What was your relationship with Young before the case, before the trial and all that? Were y'all actually ever cool? You know what's so f***ed up? Because I thought we was. <laughs> hey, Amy. Man. Oh, my homie, shorty. That was my brother, gang. My real, like, him and Dutchie. Like, the, 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 the way that shorty them act. On two, you would think like we was never cool. We was just all just from the same block. You would never knew that Dutchie used to wear my clothes and sleep in my crib. Oh, folks, gray. You would never knew I used to help Young when he used to get chased from school on Kyra, folks. You would think you would you would never know this, folks. It is real facts. Like, shorty, y'all was my brothers. I used to trade games with you. Oh, folks, gray. When we when my Came up with FBG in the basement at, at Manny Crib. Cause folks them stayed in the basement at the time. They ain't had a big house. They was living in the basement. On me. They had a nice basement though. Let, let, let's start there. They stayed at the basement, but that basement house was raw as on bro. Folks them had lockers and shit in their room. They shit was raw as I ain't gonna lie. Young them they out they did it mama ain't never play about how that house look on B. But that still don't change the fact that he a Nah, I ain't gonna say he no because he is a bitch on bro. I ain't gonna unfold. I can't fold you. I can't even hold you, bro. Ever since I got into this nigga, sure I be having the whole STL DMing me talking crazy. They told my boy you from Jaro, duh. They turned STL up on folks' grade. And them fuck can't take me on my dead sister. When T Y M B them used to see motherfuckers walking, they weren't running from STL. They was running from butter. Oh my brother, let's keep this shit a buck on two grade. Motherfucker can't lie on my sister grade, shorty. I'm come on my dead sister. Young them used to be friendly as fuck. We wasn't friendly on my dead grandma. We from the dudes on my dead sister. They know we was never friendly with nobody on Kyra, folks. 
That's why nobody never liked the gyro. That's why motherfuckers don't even speak on gyro name a lot. Because they be all gy no, some gyro snakes. Call us what you want to call us. Oh, my brother. You can say what you want to say about us. But on my homie right now, to this day, gyro city still got the money. You feel me? On Tuka, we been, been aggressors. On my homie, we started this gay jump. Wouldn't even be saying merchant if it wasn't for gyro city. That's our lingo. On Tuka, we, we started merch. The word merch it. Came from us, gang. Oh my dear, my shorty. In 2001, when we used to go to the Audi home and tell her that a merchant, motherfuckers be like, merchant? What that mean? We put that, we put it on somebody dead in your family, boy. Put it on your dead homie. I ain't got no dead homie on my dead grandma though. Motherfucker didn't even know what merchant meant on my sister. Shorty, like, we started the link up, bro. On my homie, we made fool them go get fast cars. On Tuga, we made fool them want to really dress. Everybody from Jarro got a bag. Shout out C.O.B. on my homie. Folks grade. Everybody from Jarro blessed. And I ain't never stressed about nothing. But look, that's another story, though. But when they come to Young on B, like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm disappointed in it. I'm disappointed in him and myself right now, gang. On Tuga. Because overall, for we really making a, 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 a mark, a foolery of ourselves. Because whether motherfuckers want to accept this or not, we are a whole gang. We do get looked at as one, right? So when you could go to social media that bash your home before your ops, it shows a characteristic about yourself that you probably didn't even know was in you. But the way this shit is set up now with this social media, it's like you don't want nobody. You don't, you don't want the fans to look at you like you, you, you hate you shouldn't even have the word hate or blackball in front of your name, young. Especially with blackball, body, and young, all that shouldn't even be mixed together. Because shorty them been going through the blackball on on some real shit. Like young, a good ass rapper, right? He wanted on oh my homie like when it came to that shit, duck, young. Dutchy, right? Now, I ain't gonna lie. They was applying that shit, right? And Young was making real skateboard skateboard music, gang, right? This shit that you, you know he's supposed to got signed off of. Chief Keith went and made Sicko after Young. He, uh, uh, uh Skateboard Young mixtape. When, when Young dropped Skateboard Young, Sosa dropped that, I'm ballin'. And that sicko shit on my homie. Like, shorty had to change his way of rapping. Then he, okay, because this is his competition. Sosa and Young on took Like, all right, everybody always thought it was Sosa or Lil J or, 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 or Sosa and Duck or, or Sosa and Lil J and Duck and Dirk, right? No, it was Sosa and Young on my dead homie, shorty. It was, it was Young and Sosa. They was going neck to neck with this shit, right? Sosa signed. But when, so when Sosa signed, it was like, I ain't gonna lie. Young, like, it's like his energy drain, gang. But when Young energy drain, it was like Duck boosted up. Dutchy started cutting up. Being that black came in, started cutting up. Out of nowhere, Lil J started cutting up. Lil J was slight like decent. First, folks was a trash bag on, bro, on folks grade. And then out of nowhere, Lil J became the biggest star because ain't nobody had no faith that Lil J even making it with the rappers on my homie because Young was really rapping. Duck was a really, he was a real rapper. Like, Duck was a real battle rapper, gang. On my homie, like, motherfucker gotta go really go back and listen to Wild Out. Motherfucker, the other side like that when him and Ede, Ede is you serious. Like, shorty, he thought. Real punchlines on my homie. Real metaphors. Real like you got. He playing your brain. Like hold on, what did he just say? On game. But so the hear young say a lot of shit he was saying, even for him to try to downplay my bag and even want me to, to see my bag be lesser. It's crazy. It's, I got kids, young. What about my kids, young? Am I telling you not to get no money, young? You got you got three you got three of your own kids and two step kids. 
You five kids in, gang. Am I telling you, am I going around saying, hey, y'all don't f with young? Don't do sh with that. Y'all should be paying that. No. Since day one with this shit on took, you know what I've been doing? Shout out to my FBG family. Oh man, y'all ain't hear this new Young song? Y'all ain't hear this new Dutchie song? Oh, Dutchie and Young go crazy. They're my brothers. Shout out to Young. Shout out Dutchie. That's what I've been doing. Oh yeah, I got some attention on me. Let me let me throw the attention on gang now. But they don't see it like that. They ain't, they ain't never seen it like that, gang. I don't fold gray because I keep saying, I'm gonna say it again. They egotistic, gang. I don't fold gray. They egotistic. Oh, first grade, like, put your ego to the side, bro. Oh, first grade, let's talk about how we all finna get the next bag. Because folks that may got booked for a show since Duck died. And I've been getting booked for them on Kyra. I've been performing, performing, and performing, shorty. Like, I've been on the stage crazy as hell this year. Started from last year since I got out of house arrest. I've been rocking out the clubs. I've been at the show. I've been performing. Like, Really getting booked to come perform, gang. And ain't no way in y'all not on the stage with us. Ain't no way y'all not getting booked with us. And if they been getting booked for some shows, we ain't heard about them. Because I definitely would have pulled up just to pull up. Them my homies. I don't get no what the internet talking about. Folks them got a show, I'm in that. You feel me? That's how I'm coming, though. But one day, in due time, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers going to mature. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we all be able to have a sit down. But I'm looking forward to seeing Young and Lil P do they sit down. I want to see what that conversation going to be like. Uh, definitely, I'm definitely knowing that going to be interested, but I'm definitely ready to see that one. But uh, I really I ain't, I don't, I don't took, I, I really don't want to say nothing bad about them niggas no more. And Dutchie ain't really... Dutchie ain't really been saying nothing too much, but he had dropped a little song talking about he got real money that ain't butter bucks. He got a settlement. I don't jaw jaw. You ain't got no fucking money, gang. I don't care, folks. Your ass got shot by the police and got paid. Shut your ass up. You not playing with no fucking money, gang. I don't talk her. You not out here busting no balls. You not doing none of that shit you rapping about, gang. Oh, folks, great. You still got the same four nickel from three years ago. Stop the cap. What the fuck is you out here doing, cuz? Oh, first grade, you talk about butter bucks. The difference between my money and your money, oh, two can say, baby, I really be out here going to get my on oh, first grade, and I ain't have to sit in the courtroom uh, and go through all these civil suits and all that shit to get no money. On oh, first grade, uh, let's say my bag different. I can really brag different, because now you f***ed up. You live with your grandma. I mean, you live with your mama. On oh, two they gave you how many, how many millions? Ain't no way you got the basement room. On Tuka, folks. No way in f Ain't no way in f you got the basement room, cuz. You got way too much money. I'm like, what? What? I'm uh, have a nice life. I still been living in my s right now. What is you talking about? For oh my homie. And I ain't hit no PPP loan. Y'all can't look my name up on the PPP long list like y'all shit. Our folks grade. We gonna talk about what is y'all doing, gang? That's why y'all mad on my homie. All the finesse is running out. Y'all can't bust no more moves. Ain't nothing going through, cuz. Come get in with me, man. I got glasses on folks grade. You know I got the paper, man. Y'all know we always had the paper, man. Y'all know we always had the glass, man. Stop playing, folks. Y'all was hating back then. And we, well, Lil J was saying that shit, right? On took, I just thought Lil J was hating. On some real shit. On Kyra, shorty, up, all the way up until this day, right? Even if you go back on my past interviews, I used to be like, man, Lil J used to be on some hate shit with folks now. He used to be on some hate shit with young them. And I ain't like that shit, right? Motherfucker, like, what you mean? I'm oh, man, he'll get booked for a show. Be like, oh, man, I ain't doing no show with Young and, 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 and Duckin' them. You got to book them on your, on your own. They got their own They got their own booking team, uh, manager team. You got to go through them, right? And I used to think, like, Lil J. Petty is, right? 
But then he used to tell me little shit on bro, like shorty, he he real good at at, at, at finessing my brains and, and making my side with him, right? So when he used to tell me like, like, oh man, they got a studio session and they ain't want me at the studio session or they just hear the show. He, um, bro, hold on, let me, let me fix my whoop. He, oh man, they just hear the show. They ain't, even, they ain't, even, they ain't even invite me. I ain't even care about getting booked. He on took on Joseph. I just wanted to perform. That motherfucker hit my music too, right? At the time, I ain't get that shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? That's meatball. You getting paid now, boy. Get folks them on the stage with you. But not. it makes sense. Because when Lil J did start blowing up on some real shit, when he was starting to blow up, right? Lil J ain't got a song with none of them. On oh, folks' grade. He got a song with B and a duck. Yellow boy. No young, no Dutchie. On first grade. And Duck, he in the studio. Even before folks just died, that's how he was, man. I'm at the studio. Anybody, any one of the guys wanna come do a song, pull up. That's how I got my that's how I got my feature. That's how Quan got his feature. Young them at the studio, on my brother show they in that. Man, yeah, nah, man, let me go and get my song in. Ain't nobody been clicking y'all shit, gang. Oh, my homie, I quit. I quit. Because right now they got the FBG cheat code on folks' grade. Tell all they to make their own platform, and let's see how they videos hit off the Clout Boy ENT page. No Billy Cox page. No Cloud Boy ENT page. Tell them to do what Butter do. Build your own platform. Drop from your own platform. Let's see. Let's see how the numbers hit, baby. Cause on Tuka, if you drop me on the FBG Cloud Bo Cowboy ENT page, right, I'm gonna pull the same numbers they pulling. Real facts. You drop me on Billy Cox page, I'm gonna get the same numbers they getting. Pop Guaranteed more. I ain't even gonna say the same. I'm too. I'm gonna get more. That's why they tell Billy Cox them don't fuck with me. This is why they tell they, they engineers and they cameramen and they producers don't fuck with me. Because they know if this gave me, if this if they if we get this boy a chance to premiere anything on any one of our platforms, so they gonna outshine us. I been doing it. I've been doing it before I took rapping serious. Before I was able to, to put raw bars together and this motherfucker back. You all right? Y'all was already in fear. I was already a threat. Because I had the internet and I ain't know it. But when I did that, when I had that that that, that mental health breakdown, and my 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 my, my even my evil ex-girlfriend. Oh, bro, she's so evil, gang. You know what I'm saying? But I, I had a real breakdown moment, and I was just like, you know, just talking. I, 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 I have, I have, I have a problem with recording myself, talking to myself sometimes, you know. And uh, she uploaded the video, but it ain't turned out in the in the favor that the motherfucker thought it was. And in real life, it opened up so many doors that. It's still those that I ain't even opened yet. That I still like motherfuckers like, oh man, you welcome anytime. That I did, I ain't even touched. That you know what I'm saying? All off a motherfucker being evil put me in a whole different whole different lane. And this is what young them fella realized. On Tuga, the moment that child started bashing me, my numbers was already up there. But when y'all start bashing me, my numbers ain't do nothing but go more and more up. Now they under y'all posters, under y'all songs, saying butter better. And it's not me. I don't make fake pages. I'm not trolling you. You're not that important in my life. I just wake up to y'all on the internet saying something about me on Tuga. I wake up, what? Who said what? Oh, y'all know I got to come back. 
Bitch, that's just like, you come shoot at my house, bitch, I come shoot your shit right back. I'm coming right back. I'm coming through a cocktail bomb me your shit on Toka. You feel me? That's how I be feeling when my come at me on the internet. When I be feeling like you just came through my crib, ARP, motherfucking Drakes, and binary triggers and fuck my shit up. Because this is where I live. This is my house. This is my job. I work from home, man. Why y'all fuck with me at my house? Hey, y'all remember on Bad Boys? When they used to have to shoot out with the Haitians in the bathroom, right? He say, who's in my house? He the devil. The devil's not welcome here. That's young. Your little ass is the devil, shorty. Oh, Neil. Your little ass is the devil, shorty. Go and get your goofy ass back. Don't hate on me. Don't be hating. Participate. Oh, folks, great. <laughs> no, I quit, man. I'm done. I just, I just bawled folks out for like, like 10 minutes. Yo, at least 20. I just fucked y'all up. Just fucked the whole FBG camp up. Intel Cole, stop rocking y'all clothes. <laughs> oh, my mama. 20 minutes straight. Just smoked the whole FBG. Y'all look like some bugs on 2 grade. If it wasn't for many bad y'all clothes on Kyrie, y'all look like dirty as Y'all used to be bombs. Oh, wow. Damn, yeah, no. Nah, that don't count many as daddy. I can't. Nah, you, nah, disregard I said that. But Dutch, you know, Yo Your little ass is a little dirt bag on my dead homie, shorty. Yo mama brought you here and there. Fuck you to me, Stop playing. Like you won't wear butter clothes. Foles gray. Till we hit the whole stealing for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think y'all could ever get back cool, or is it too far gone? Man, I mean, Gucci Man and Jeezy did it. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> nah, seriously though, it's possible, bro. It's possible. I don't know. I would love a one on one. I would took. I would love a one on one. Those are my brothers. I would never harm. I would never threaten to harm like harm them on some like gunplay, knives, or no no stupid shit like that. But what the fade the one? What we doing? We gonna do a thirty minute? I mean thirty second. For you gonna get your gonna get y'all thirty get y'all thirty in. Going that going the back for thirty seconds. And see who hit the float first. Oh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he, he a little bitty. So anything over over 30 seconds of his mercy is going to be like I'm, I'm, I'm bullying him. On oh, folks' grade. It's going to be like, I mean, like our butter, being, butter was being a bully, bro. He knew he hit him when the, within the first 20 seconds. And sure, he can fight too, though. So don't get it twisted, y'all. My mama young can fight. He just can't fight as good as me. And he know that. He could barely beat Lil Real when him and Lil Real fought. Right? He couldn't beat my shorty, Lil Mikey. Free Lil Mikey from Jaro City. You hear me? The face from Jaro coming home, man. I'm in Foles Gray. The face on his way home, boy. Shout out to the face. But uh, he couldn't beat the face, gang. So if you couldn't beat the face for Jaro, like, why the fuck you think you can fuck with me? Like, how many times have I whooped for him, for him to not to understand? Like, I'd have whooped for you that you know you couldn't whoop. Like, I had to go in and whoop that. So what makes you think for one second I'm not gonna whoop your? But see, him or Dutchy wouldn't fight me on Tuka Gray. Well, neither one of them fight me on my dead homie. They gonna go get them a gun. On Kyra, real facts. On my sister, they're gonna go get their pipe. On Tuka Gray. And they'll tell you, like, I'm not fighting butter. His ass gonna get popped. On Foz Gray, because they know I'm sure I'm, I, 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 I've been bullying a little bro now. Them was my first victims before I made it over there to the Ops. Folks Gray. Who y'all think I start punching on first? Oh, Tuka, those was my first victims. Y'all remember that song? I got a victim. I got a victim. Y'all remember that shit my used to do back then? Them used to be my vicks on bro. 
They know what's going on, folks. Big Buddy Butter on my dear homie, shorty. Everybody from my block until you like, nah, folks really was a bully gang. Little Bubba from TW with my little cousin, everybody tell you like, nah, folks really was the bully. He, I was the bully in, in grammar school. Um, Tuka left my grammar school, went up to my John Hope over there in the mall where technically that's no love, but you know the malls is in that too. But they would tell you, I'm Tuka, what? I was a bully in that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. You know what's going on, man. But I hope one day we can put this to side because we was brothers before we was enemies, man. That's why I really don't do no new friends because friends turn enemies. I can see you fake just up off your energy. I'm um, bro, free Quan. Um, a, a lot of people in Chicago have joined Jay Main's Pushing the Peace movement, but Chicago is still Chicago. THFTP got killed in front of his kids. That was crazy. That shit was crazy. Yeah, that shit ain't right. That shit ain't G. Or that shit ain't P. You know, certain shit die for the kids' eyes no matter what's going on out here in these streets. Like, because just like that happened, look at Bad Man Cabo's son. That don't do shit but open the doors for the kids to do more and more and more fucked up shit. I mean, like, and at the same time, like, we know the life we live, like, I move cautious with my kids because I know the lifestyle that I live, right? I know I got enemies. I know I make people, I make certain people mad just off the shit I say, right? And sometimes you can't control all your enemies, right? You can't control how they gonna react when they see you. So when I, like, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, that shouldn't happen in front of his kids. And he should have been somewhere on the outskirts of the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with leaving the city, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with going to a different state and enjoying your life, bro. I mean, that's why we getting put in these positions and these to change. That's what I mean, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for a change of scenery. I'll come back and visit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm bucking so hard for my no jumper job. It's just a way out. Well, I wanted to congratulate you, Butter, on the potential job that you have coming up at No Jumper. So um, I don't know if you can speak on that. You know what I'm saying? But um, did you first off? Did you get hired by Adam? Did he hire you? Or? First hand, Adam reached out to me, asked me, you know put my numbers together and what I think about the job, taking the job. He said he got a lot, he got a lot of day-to-day -day content for me that he could see me doing. And uh, honestly, after meeting him, after, you know, sitting down there with him and Remo, Remo, I said, bro, name wrong, bogus as hell. But I just sat down there with, big, with him and Big Remo, but I want some real shit, like, they showed me like, all right, it's more to this shit, bro. And it was a good vibe, like, real good vibe. Like, they took them off in, like, one no, one no, no iffy shit. Like, I watch him do the interviews with everybody else. I be like, he got so much security in that bitch. So for him to drop the security detail and just come in, like, come on, let's go, let's come in, let's work the security. We ain't waiting on all that, let's work. That shit meant something to me too, though, because he could have been on some scary shit thinking I'm on some on um, bro. So he could have been on alert, f f expecting some shit to take place, and he could have been on some in return, right? But instead, it was it was a good it was a good vibes, man. Like I said, he made him feel at home, though, for sure. And so when the job idea, because you know I tossed it at him first on the interview and I guess he had to take some time and really think about what I shot at him and then when he hit me back I'm ready to work I just had to get I had I, I, I motherfucker was fighting the case you know what I'm saying so motherfucker 
couldn't just up and up and leave, shoot the LA and take that job right away. But you know what I'm saying? This shit works now. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm definitely hyped to I'm I'm hyped to be on on the on no jumper. Part of the no jumper cast. No be no no funny shit on be. Well speaking of no jumper, in recent news, um seven five seven BA was locked up after going on no jumper from a murder he did seven years ago. And he out? I, th I thought he was. I thought he. he, he yeah, I don't, I don't think he, he, he's out, but I, 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 he got locked up like right after the no jumper interview. Right, because I, murder that I saw years. somebody make a make a post like, "Ba out," and he just got. Then he just get locked up yesterday. I saw that post. I don't really know how to feel about that. I mean, did no jumper ask some some, some police? -y? Like, in a lot of times, motherfuckers be walking theyself into those questions, though. Questions. Like, feel me? Yeah, I guess no jumper didn't really just ask him. Like, he more so volunteered a lot of information. And they came and snatched him off that shit. It's crazy. It ain't that, it ain't that serious, gang. It's crazy. It's cool. Bro, that's crazy, Toon. Hey, Tune, so that's crazy, bro. Whoa. So it's like, are you fucked up? He fucked up. He fucked up. Because that's going to be hard to get around. Because, you know, motherfuckers make so many small snippets of, of these interviews and shit. They'll be like, what did I say? See? This interview, this interview, not for everybody, Tone. I don't gang. This is not for everybody, bro. Because sometimes motherfuckers be opening up a little too much. <laughs> and they be watching too, though. In real life, like they really watching us. Especially if your name, like, known for being in some shit, being involved in some shit. That shouldn't even be a topic that come up. In Am I able to walk out? <laughs> No, seriously, that's how I used to be when I first started. Hey, can I walk off on this question? No, um, bro. But, no. I s***ed up. Free that man. He ain't did nothing to nobody. You recently caught a pipe case. Yeah. Um, I, I heard you mentioned that you were um, finding a case. That's why you couldn't yeah except the job at no jumper well a, a lot of fans were wondering how did you get out the next day after catching the case so look right you know they ain't doing bonds no more in the city of illinois right in the state of illinois my slow i just said city that was just whew. all right but look they not doing bonds right but my last conviction or anything is 10 years ago so when i went in front of the judge is he a threat to the community? No. Do he have a job? Yes. What do you, what is your job? I am a YouTuber. What what do you what do you do on YouTube? Content creator, man. I'm a, uh, I, I, I I speak for the youth. They got out. That's all. Ain't nothing to like everybody who went to jail in Chicago, right? If you not fighting a murder, they let your ass out the next day. Unless you sit in the station for two days for questioning for some shit. But that, what, what y'all questioning me for? Y'all found the gun in the car? Somebody in the car got to go to jail. I was at court in the next morning. Oh, bro. Seeing the judge. What did I do wrong? Was he shooting this gun? No. What was this gun found in the car? Where in the car? Under the seat. How many people got access to under the seat in the car? Everybody that entered that motherfucker. I don't bro, but my shit got throughout too though. This for the fuck y'all head up. Cause the case got throughout. Right? The police off ain't show up. 
all four court days, they gave it was continuous, another continuous, another one. On the fourth one, the judge threw it out, right? So you know they got what, like 30 days, 36 days or some shit like that to, for the state to pick the case back up? Man, why they picked them off the case up on the last week? On B, last week, pick my shit up. Now, if I was the police, to, real tune, would they even pick my shit back up after they got threw out? Police officer ain't even showed up at court. They don't do that to the police or motherfuckers that's working. They uh, it got threw out. It's over with. That's how I help a hand. Motherfucker got to be real, bro. But motherfuckers is so infatuated with putting this jacket on me that don't fit on folks' grade that they going to keep throwing shit out there like that. Because at the end of the day, who the fuck is here? That's alive. It's crazy as hell when you're going to dig up the dead on my dead homie. And then when motherfuckers talk about that stand shit, I'll read the scrans the transcripts on took. I, I don't recall nothing. I'm your ass lying, suck my dick on Tuka. I mean that bitch tweaking, talking to these people like they regular people because they is regular as fuck. They just got my life in their hand a little bit. Oh bro. Huh. How many of y'all how many of they homies and the people who they had get up there recant they statement? None of they nobody. Not not one. Not one. Not even that man, baby mama. That man, baby mama got up there and said, this was him, my, who, this who, this who came and picked me up with him. This was who was in my car. This was who was with him when they want to turn the car back in. Man, on first grade. So if we going to talk about anything, y'all need to be talking about it, y'all people. Y'all so-called friends and family, y'all love this so much. Los. Tuga, Lowe's baby mama, TZ homie from 4-6, the fat that was in the store with him with the red shirt on, he got up there on Kyra. He got up there for three days and just made it seem like he, I, I ain't had nothing to do with it. I told bro to hang the phone up. He was tweaking. Dude got up there, but he did, he, him, and a few other motherfuckers. Like, y'all side sealed y'all deal, gang. When it come to our side, I said, I don't recall. Did, did 50 get that? 50 didn't get that same treatment. Lil Mikey didn't get that same treatment. Don didn't. Wee Wee didn't. Oh, took a nigga. Y'all, all you, uh, all you, from Joey. Oh, I, it, like, do I got to keep naming? Rondo. All you, y'all all got up. Some of my homies in the jail them for a long time, gang. All y'all had to do is recant y'all statement. Y'all see, I did. I recanted my shit. I don't recall nothing. I do drugs. I'm a psych patient. I don't took her. It's not hard, gang. But see, on my homie, it's a, I, I, I get it, though. It's a thin line between real and fiction. I don't, bro, because... Y'all motherfuckers can stick to the shit that ain't even in black and white more than they stick. I mean, motherfuckers stick to the to the to the made up more than they stick to the shit that's in black and white in their face. The shit that's put here for you to understand what's going on in society. Oh, um, bro, you rather believe this motherfucker made up picture that motherfucker paint to you? Motherfucker that painted this picture in your brain. And that is what you believe. See, I had a conversation with one of my uncles. Uh, I had a, well, I'm talking about one of my uncles, but yeah, one of my uncles and his, and his homie. And he asked me some real shit. They, they some older cats. They in their 50s. He asked me, say, uh, what would you call what you did if it weren't you? I was like, and that, that's the question I asked, because I asked the question with a question. Because he asked me, right, if it wasn't me, what would I call it, right? 
But I ask him, I say, but do I still know all the shit that I know? He like, yeah, you know everything you know, right? He like, but what would you call it? Like, I had to explain to him, if I know everything I know, then I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be agreeing with my I'll be that motherfucker that's right here. I got to be the reason. I got to be the voice of reason. I got to be the one that break this shit down to, because right now, right, whether motherfuckers admit it or not, right, it's a sad, it's a sad thing. And motherfuckers is picking sides for real. And the majority rule for real, right, the motherfucker with the biggest voice normally control the narrative. That's what happened with the Lil J. Lil J had the bigger voice. He controlled the narrative, even to the point where bro went and typed up fake paperwork and he had a hundred misspellings in that. Boy, if that shit happened while we was fighting our case on Kyra, boy, you know I would have been back on my motherfucking appeal so motherfucking fast, boy. I would have been back on the appeal in six months on Tuga. I would have been back in six months on my on off that appeal game, off that shit. everything in that. Was misspelled. What? I would have man, y'all had me. I would what? But I would have. What would the children people up in that courtroom on took a grade? That 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 appeal would have been stupid, nasty. And I was suing on my homie. But now seriously though, he had the bigger voice, so he controlled the narrative, right? That's why I was going with the thing, right? The whole thing, right? Which is sometimes we have to take a second. And listen, not hear, because we hear a lot of shit. Sometimes I got to take time and listen and really, what's the word I'm looking for? Iterate what you hear. Reiterate what you hear. I don't bro. I don't bro. Because for real, for real, motherfucker tell you some shit. Yeah, I heard you. But if you was really listening to a motherfucker, sometimes you could pick out. Oh, that's bullshit. I know this. I know this for a fact because this is what I know about. This is what what I'm saying, right? And sometimes common sense do not work for people. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we live in a world where sometimes common sense is not common sense. Some some shit that we know for a fact is like that's common sense, gang. A motherfucker look at me like I'm crazy because how the fuck you don't know this common sense but we all know this common sense because you got to think right and then, hey look hey, uh, real tone real shit because they all say young G.I. Joe all of them say he told but I mean he ain't tell he lied he ain't even lie. He said he he ain't even tell his ass lie. So did I did I tell or did I lie? Now it sound like y'all were y'all really working. Oh, folks, great, cause now it's like really think about what y'all saying. Y'all went from I'm telling to man he ain't even tell his ass lie. He was lying on her. So y'all just gonna flat out just tell the whole world what? What is y'all what what is y'all admitting for me? What is it? Cause that's what I'm taking it as. I'm taking it as like y'all giving y'all own confession for me. Cause I wanna say one thing to keep my ass out of trouble, right? And that's what y'all saying. Cause G.I. Joe said, I don't know, he tried to save himself. So he he lied on her. He lied on my sister. What the fuck is you saying about, bro? Y'all know I don't do shit, bitch. I fight. I ain't lying on her. No, Tuga, people be tweaking out here. The guys be tweaking. They need to take their infatuation off of me and put their infatuation into some money or put their infatuation and go and get, get y'all fucking get back. Go get our leg back, bro. Cause I can't do it. I'm the Jakes. Y'all talking about? I'm not going to kill nobody. So, y'all gangsta.
Go get our f- lick back. Why they ain't crying like us yet? Y'all ain't caused no pain. The little T dubs and when they, they got they self locked up and shit before you. But y'all them real big dogs. Y'all the gangsters. Y'all the big dog. Y'all the big bad wolf. You ain't blowing down shit. on fourth grade. All you is the big bad wolf. But when the fuck is y'all gonna really go blow their house down? Like, literally. Not to go shoot at their actual house. But I'm just saying, like, gang. Stop barking at me. Stop, 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 uh, stop, uh, uh, howling at me. And barking at me. Go howl and bark that way with the motherfuckers that want to howl and bark with us. Because y'all see, we pushing peace this way. Right? And you say that's cool for him, but not for you. But so when the f is you gonna show the world on your uncool side? Cause it just ain't like you just coming out to me. I get it. I got some attention. Why not? That's bogus as hell, man. That's bogus. Y'all some disloyal, unstable creatures. Oh my mama. Real life. Because I don't took a shorty. Even when I got, even when they wrap me up on my dead sister shorty, they say the FBG is a gang and FB, FBG is a, and we are entertainers. Young and Dutch don't even fucking game bang. They are rappers. That's how I'm coming. I'm standing up for my brothers. I take the stand and lie and die for them. Say what you want to say. That's how I'm coming. I'm just that. That's that's my that's me. That's my person. Not child person. Because y'all showed y'all person right now. And going me going into who I was. Y'all been showing y'all person. Feel me? In real life, motherfucker, oh man, I do whatever for my brothers. Ride or die. Whatever. Sometimes it's not all about riding or dying. Sometimes you might have to stand up. And be the big guy for your brothers. On fourth grade. Because. On two rather motherfuckers. Acknowledge. My true actions. I know my. I know. I know my intentions. I know. That. Nothing that I said. Jeopardized nobody from my block. Nothing that I said. Jeopardized nobody. Alive from the other side or from my side. Everybody that I spoke on was deceased. Everybody talk, speak on the dead in their own ways. The dead was speaking on theyself before they was dead. So it's a problem now that I do it. It's a problem because I thought of it first. That's what the f- it is. It ain't a problem that, oh man, folks keep talking on the dead people. Since when they say if, if they did, they did. We gonna leave it at that. Folks did, folks did that shit. Motherfuckers been doing that shit since the 90s, man. Motherfuckers been doing that shit since the 80s. Motherfuckers knew this man and killed this person this, for years on years and waited till that man died to say that man did it. That's the motherfuckers back then. That was motherfuckers to be finding out like, oh, Oh, what well, Sugar Ray kill Booger? You see what I'm saying? After the man passed away, though, what's the difference in the from that? Can we get the real deal answer right here on Real Tune TV? Um, a, a lot of fans. This, this is the fans. This ain't even me. This is the fans. Um, have speculated on if you and Ki were. Um, real brother and sister because apparently I guess on Reddit it says that you you know y'all have different dads or something like that um, that's my that's my mother's sister we got the same daddy the trenches raised us O'Neal my mama took care of her when her aunt took her asked Lil George where the f*** was he at this whole time he gonna say in the, he gonna say in foster care right and 
Look at the difference. He was in foster care. What, what was Kyra? Seen always on the side of me, right? Think about it. Right. That's what it, that's where it's coming from. It's really a kick to the nuts, to his stomach, that he had to go through the shit that he went through, right? And his sister was out here living better than him. Granted, sis ended up dying in the mix, right? Because all this shit came from G.I. Joe coming home, feeling some type of way, right? This is why everybody saying all Kyrie now his sister, her real twin home. Lil' George was home at 16 and 17, too. He's home at 18, too. G.I. Joe name wasn't busting like that. Les Duck said his name, right? And he's kind of a real twin. I gave him, hey, I gave him his recognition. All on Vlad, I'm, I'm on the top platform. I could have him. No, I'm her, I'm her real twin. It could have been a back and forth feud on the internet of who her real twin is his when he got the birth certificate. You feel me? I could have did that. But I gave you your recognition on Tuga, and you took that and took a shot at me because you want to run up behind Young now. On Tuga, these the same that passes that was passing the video around of you in the mirror kissing a boy, telling her everybody not to fuck with you. But now your uncle Seaball home on Tuga, and Seaball locked in with them. For, you know, Uncle was was shooting them for real, right? So. Now they ain't playing with you, gang, cause you cause she ball here. But in real life, shorty, they was just laughing at you. On Tuka, don't get on the internet saying they was sending you money or none of that, shit, cause they wasn't doing none of that shit for you. On Kyra, yo, mama and that that that's fuck you been fucking on was taking care of you and uh, you talking about some acts about me in jail? Ain't nobody gonna never say I was fucking around. Cap, cap. Isn't that sneaky man, freaky man, on Tuka? Don't be mad at me. I ain't never, I ain't never had to put no man's in my mouth to live in this house. Hey, this real tune, and I'm out. Hey, real tune, it's a real money in the room.